How big Bastard. the loops you're doing? Oh, I don't like that. Ooh, oh, what no. that? You can tell he's not an electrician. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back. So, we're at an exciting event today. Got Luke here with me because we're working in a public space here at the Anglia Ruskin University. So, check this out. Behind me is the big ARU banner, and here are a couple of Teslas. And the reason we're here is we're installing a couple of temporary, well, one temporary electric vehicle charging point for a Tesla demonstration that we're doing tomorrow. Artisan Electrics have partnered with Anglia Ruskin University on this event, along with the Tesla Owners Club, who've sent some vehicles in. So we've got the Tesla Veterans car. And what we're doing right now is we're putting in a temporary Tesla charging point off a temporary socket. And we just thought, let's make a video about it and show you guys how it all works, what's involved in installing a temporary electric vehicle charging point, because it's something that we've not really showcased before on the channel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Let's get into it. What Luke's done is measured it perfectly centre to the slab, which is great. We need to get our cable underneath. So what are you going to do? Stitch drill that? Stitch drill that, yeah. So you can just dip it chisel down. Chisel it out a little bit. Have you got a chisel bit or anything? Like an oh, SDS chisel bit? Yeah, I have. Yeah, okay. So that'd be perfect. Then we need um, four. four 16 mil holes in there. We'll use these anchor bolts to bolt that down. And then this cable will come under there up into the pedestal. Um, and then we're going to run it in a cable protector, basically. They're going to give us some cable protector to run along there. Then in here, we're going to come up into this box and this is a 32 amp commando socket so we can plug it into there that has got rcd protection uh no sorry hasn't got rcd protection um and it, it hasn't got pen fault protection so what we're doing is installing excuse the donuts a matty device to protect the charging point in case of a pen fault and that is very important even in a temporary installation it's important that everything gets done safely. So this is our Matty device. And inside here, we've got an RCBO, which provides RCD protection and overcurrent protection for the charging point. And then under the cover here, there's all these clever electronics, which will protect the charging point in the event of loss of the protective earth neutral conductor. And I'm not gonna explain exactly what that means, but it is in the instructions for the Tesla manual. So. Um, it is an important safety feature that is required. So under here, you'll see there's this contactor here. There's this little circuit board that does all the working out when there's a pen fault or not. But basically for us, all we need to know is got to come in the bottom of the RCBO with our power feed and then out of the bottom of this contactor with our cable going to our charging point. See if you can reach Australia. Will they line up? Will they oh, line up? There's no. Pretty impressive. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Push straight. You got glasses? They're in Leeds van. This is the thing, swapping vans. I forget about them. Yeah, there's always an excuse, isn't there? Huh? <laughs> Always an excuse. They look good on you. <laughs> right, so we are chased out here now. So that's all good. So we're ready to put our anchors in, run our cable in. Uh, so Luke is running the cable inside the pedestal now. Pulling it up, ready to go inside the charger. So a pedestal's in place with the cable popping out here. So this is what we call HO7 rubber flex cable. And it's the kind of cable that is used often in temporary electrical installations. It's really, really tough, so you can step on it and all that stuff and it won't break, which is ideal for this kind of situation. Luke's gonna pop these in, but um, yeah, you got these. Our... Okay, I'll show you how to do them. Essentially what we do is drop them in the hole to get them kind of level and then you know, I only did these the other day so I should be able to remember <laughs> but and what you want is just to tap them so that that bit is flush mm -hmm. but then what you've got to do is tighten this up 
all the way down and then when you tighten it like that yeah it pulls it in it pulls that in and, and this expands out cool. and it will just grip itself into the hole yeah so you do it until you basically can't turn it anymore yeah and then you undo the bolt mm -hmm. take it out put the thing on and then bolt it back down again essentially tap it in like that we need a i think it's a 17 18. Oh, never use that. Yeah, it's always 17 oh, and 13, mate. Right? Those are the ones. Yeah, yeah. never an even number. I use 10 as well. <laughs> really? Yeah. Mate, you've been, using one, you? size, <laughs> you've been using one size. You've been using one size too up for too long. So, should we see if they line up now? Da, da, da. Moment of truth. Nice, nice, yeah. No, these two. Okay, well, we'll get one. Right, we'll get that this one. This one annoys me. Like, There's a little bit of wiggle room oh, anyway, yeah. so oh, that, that one's one completely there. out. But yeah. how? It's mad. Yeah. What, so you reckon we take that out and then widen the hole a bit and then just angle it slightly? Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's do that. All right, this is Tom. Hiya. He's our, uh, he's our, what would you call it? What would you say? Your Educational partner. Our educational partner. Yeah, it sounds very professional, it does, doesn't, doesn't it? it? Yeah, but it's in a fun way. It's not boring education, it's fun because we get to educate people about cool cars, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, cool electric cars. So they're good for the environment and they're fun. So you were just saying to me that you basically could not live without a Tesla anymore. I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> I could not not have a Tesla. I've had other electric cars and they're just so much better than everything else. You know, they're so much nicer to drive. They've got the best sound systems of any car. They're definitely quicker than anything else. And, and they kind of, although they're common, they do look cool. They do look cool. I'm just looking at the Model X over there now, and that is a pretty cool looking car. Said like a true Tesla fanboy, <laughs> like myself. <laughs> that's the thing though, isn't it? It's like, you do just, once you try them, that's it. It's like, I'm trying to figure out what to do when I send my Model 3 back, because I just, I want to get a Model Y next, you know, or something. I can't like, not have a Tesla anymore. So this is the Tesla wall connector that we're going to be installing. Luke's going to get it unboxed and then we'll get it on the wall. So we just made an interesting discovery because we're going to change this white faceplate on the Tesla charger to the blue one. But to take the faceplate off, you've got to take these two tiny little screws out and they are star bits like hex hex bits and it's very tight to get in there so you need some like really long thin hex bits which the normal bit holder ones won't actually fit so that's going to be tricky fortunately i've got this which is my vera screwdriver set so you've got this this little bit here so that will fit perfectly cool wow that's pretty cool you can actually see inside when Never used to be clear before. Wow, that is really cool. It's like seeing inside an alien's brain. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, that should just pull off. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> not a chance. All right, let me have a go. God, have a cool you. If, if it comes off now, I've loosened it, so. Yeah, right. <laughs> you got it's all there. about the knack, mate. Mm, I think the, <laughs> I think I've been sabotaged. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Ah. <laughs> oh, that was easy. <laughs> it's just years of experience, mate, that is. Uh, a lot of PhD students would dream to be what, uh, where you are right now. <laughs> so that's all connected in now and ready to go this end. Luke's just going to swap the cover over. Beautiful blue. So before we put the cover on here, what we're going to do is connect this Matty device up now. So this end of this flex is going to go into our Matty device. So I think we'll do... The Matty device is going to mount up here, just tuck in there temporarily. The back one is incoming cable, front one is outgoing, maybe something like that. So basically what happens here is our feed cable comes into this RCBO, which protects the charging point. Out of that, through this contactor, 
contactor switches the line, neutral and CPC in the event of a pen fault and it's basically measuring so that it knows when there's a pen fault using this device here and it goes out to the charging point. So if there's a fault, it'll cut off line, neutral and CPC to the charging point, which makes it super safe. So now we're just gonna pop this in our enclosure, get it plugged in and do a bit of testing. So plug this in, now we can turn it on. Then in here, we turn our RCBO on and then we should hear the contactor kick in. There we go. And that is now powering our pedestal over there. We used to do a lot of this, we used to do all the events, you know Audley End House in Saffron Walden? Yeah. We used to do all the events there, oh, like, um, like the little train the thing. concerts, yeah. you know, like they used to have concerts in the summer. Yeah. We used to do all the temporary wiring for the stage and everything for all that, and then we used to do the like craft fairs and stuff in yeah. all the marquees. Oh nice. We used to have a lot of these cable protectors to put in. Lovely. Safe as houses. Whoop! <laughs> so if we do non RCD tripping earth loop impedance test. <laughs> it's like such a weird thing, isn't it? But it takes so much strength Ugh. to hold steady. 2.29. Oh, that's quite high, but well, that'll be fine anyway. And then uh, ramp yeah, we do, Well, just do just do a one times RCD test. So yeah. should, should be fine. The only thing won't trip anything up. I don't think it will, but. <laughs> I suppose we should have an electrician on call just in case. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to depth into the depths of the university. Luke's going to do the testing and I am going to reset the breaker. Bloomberg Financial Markets, Tesla is down again. Oh, 208 now. It's a buying opportunity. Awesome. So, this circuit here, which is 5L3. One, two, three, four, five, L3. So it should be this one, it's a 40 amp breaker. And that goes to this RCD here, which hopefully will trip when we call Luke. Let's give him a call. Hello. All right, mate, do you want to give it a go? Yeah, seconds. Here we go. All right, so we can get our cover on, I guess. Wow, it is long. <laughs> I've never seen one this long. That's wow. like 10 foot. That now is the impressive. awful cable management. They just swooped over. Now see, like, here's the challenge. Can you make it look neat? So you've got one of these. You do it every day, do you? I do it every day. Right, Tom. The challenge, Tom, this is your challenge. Your challenge is to make, make it, it look decent. Neat right. enough to be hard to stand standards. So how I do it is I don't do it from this end. Right, you, you, you just do it how you wish. It'll naturally go one way. It'll naturally want to go one way. How big the loops you're doing? Oh, I don't like that. Oh, oh no. Nah. You can tell he's not an electrician. Yeah. <laughs> this is. This oh, is, this yeah. You've proved our point. Should we do scores? Yeah. How many? How many out of ten? I'm going. That's really say I'm four. I have to say I'm. I'm, 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 I'm not. You're being generous. <laughs> <laughs> I'd give it a three. I think. <laughs> what? It's on the other side. I think. Right. Okay. Well, Tom, for an experienced, you know, you do for an experienced Tesla hand, only club though. person. Yeah, but I never do that. Because <laughs> I never do that. I never do that. <laughs> yeah. The amount of money they go into designing this, and they've made that specially for that. Okay, that's just, Attempt, let's get a close-up <laughs> shot of this. Yeah, definitely three or four out of ten, I think. Now that the true professional at it. This is all about the way that you get that first that first kink, you've got to get that first kink out. That's the thing, see that? That is what's causing problems. There we go, They're that's perfect. it. See, that is it, right? And the equal loops. And then, yeah, like that, beautiful. Oh, see? Oh, now we can do. Oh, he's back to the same problem. Yeah, so no, so then what you do, is you give it a little, oh, give it a little yeah. wind, you see? And you get yourself enough slack that and then oh, that is, I will give you a nine eight. out of ten oh, just because I don't want to give you a ten eight. out of ten I think that's an eight I think that's an eight like the like Jordan himself an eight out of that ten. it deserves a photo <laughs> and I'm not gonna try because it won't be better than that so <laughs> We're done. 
we have a beautiful Tesla temporary wall, wall connector ready to go. Tomorrow there's going to be vehicles here. We're going to be doing demos of charging and all that fun stuff. So it's going to be cool. But that's all cable protected down into that enclosure now and ready to go. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video, something a little bit different. Make sure you like and subscribe to see all the other stuff that we get up to because we do loads about EV charging, renewables, life of an electrician stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and have a great day.